Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to Baby Mario. I'm Tracklight Tamer. Let's start this little Chuck Wismo fest. Alright. Yeah, it's just gonna start off like this, and then I'm just gonna cut in between questions and be like, this is the answer, and blah blah blah. What abilities did Mario freaking use? Tattle. What color of pants was Goombi King wearing? Red and white. Which of Mario's battle commands is on the far left? Strategies. Windows in Goomba Village. One. Name of the leader? Goomba King. Luigi's pants are blue. Members in Goombario's family. Six. Right answer in the quiz? Star Peas. Name of the smart toad? Rusty. Buildings in Koopa Village. Six. Not member of the Koopa Village. Blue, even though it was intended to be blue. Twins to buy a mushroom at Koopa Village. Four. Merle of Lee lives at Shooty Star Summit. Bombette joined us at the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Bowser's hair color is red. Star Spirits to save? Seven. Elderly Koopa is Koopa Koop. There were four other imprisoned bombs. Colorado lives in Koopa Village. Destination of the train is Mount Rugged. You buy badges from Ralph. Question number 24, Bowser stole the star rod. The radio of Koopa Village is in the blue house. Cooper idolizes Colorado. Merle does spells. Hokey mummies live in the coffin. Merlo trades badges. And who knew of dry dry rumors? Mustafa. Ooh, repel gel. With an awesome number of coins, I'm gonna go into Ralph's shop because he got some new stuff for me. Uh, double dip badge lets you use two items during one turn, but you pretty much have to. So, makes the action command work more frequently. Actually, I think uh, if you use an item, you can then choose to do nothing. I'm not sure. Dodge Master makes the action command work more frequently, so that's helpful. And Sleep Stop would make enemies fall asleep. Pardon the stuffy nose. Toss the mail for Bombette from the Dry Dry Railroad, so that's interesting. Here you go! Dear Miss Bombette, we write this letter as a humble request to you, the most worthy and explosive of all the bombs. It's still a long time off, but later this year we'll be staging an opening event for a new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a gala bash if we could enlist your bomb bursting help. Crowds love fireworks, anyway we'll get in touch with you after your adventures in ends to confirm the dates. Sincerely, Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. So you're gonna make her explode? How wonderful. And we got a letter from Paracary from Paracary? No, Wacka. What? What did Paracary ever do to him? Here you go. Wacku, this is Wacka. Mr. Paracary, from my place in the shadows, I always see you flying above Mount Rugged. It looks like so much fun flying on a sunny day. Tell me about it sometime. My wish to the stars is that you'll never fall from the sky. Wacka of Mount Rugged. Well, I believe this already happened in a few fights. I've yet to show new letters from Mario. Uh, I mostly like the artwork of these. Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little TM, just a little toad. I live in Toad Town, and I've been training at the dojo so I can say Princess Peach. Alright, see you again later. Bye. Yeah, the artwork is really cool. And then there's Vanity, Chuck Wismo's assistant, Cooper Brothers plotting revenge for later on. Yeah, more, a little thing from each of them. Then things from Koopa Troopas, or more rather, of Koopas. Because Koopa Troopas are really ones under Bowser, but yeah. Koopa Village people. What's well, some gossip going on here? Prince Peach gossip? I heard from the friend of mine whose sister heard Peach likes. Anyway, my cousin said that. Told her. Said it's true. You think it is? Gossip loving totally. Gossipy stuff going on in the Gaga world of girls and stuff. If you want me to predict the future, talk across the table, but we have a M Merlin for you letter. So take it. And his prize to us is going to be a thing. A star piece. Yeah, talking about Merle in Dread Dread Outpost. We have a letter for this toad right here at the toad house. His name is Morty. There is another letter, but I'm going to do that later on because it actually initiates like a little trading quest to eventually get something really good later on. And a letter from his life. Uh... Okay, here's this chest in Merle Lovely's house. I picked up the Power Rush uh, off screen without really starting to explain. But yeah, the star pieces that I got, I'm put up to 35 after those quizzes. I'm up to question 30 that I've done. There's going to be more later on, up to 64 towards the end of the game. But I'm stopping at 30 for now. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be trading for some badges. So let's see, what one should I get? Uh, this first one I buy will be Zap Tap. Next one, Pretty Lucky. I'll play Happy Heart and Happy Flower. Alright, we got a dang lot of side quests done. Ah! Let's enter a little new area by this guardhouse. Ugh, just, it's just now a ghost passed right in front of me. Uh, you saw it, didn't you? Yeah, I saw it briefly. But maybe Mario didn't see it. Uh, I'm not the only one. Maybe he was talking to me specifically. Over there! He's like too scared to 
pinpoint who's talking to. No, no, the other way! I don't even see it. I only saw it at once. If it even was me. I went into the forest! <laughs> I almost Mario voiced him. I'm Mario, this man is has to end. Will you go into the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. Please, I'm begging you. Yes, I will go into there for you. With my mini sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> Up to attack effect C3 with its sound effects. And let's go to the area forever forest. Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call us at the mansion on the far side of Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has in her possession important news regarding the Star Spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. Okay. And if you don't, we'll get you! Bah! Okay, I don't want you to get me. Chapter 3, The Invincible Tubba Blubba. Let's get going right into this. And here's Forever Forest. Gimbari has plenty of interesting things to say. Boy, this forest is really dark and spooky. People say that if you don't choose exactly the right path, you'll get totally lost. I can believe it. This looks like the type of place where you get lost and then monsters come out of the grass and... Hey, did you notice the grass over there rustling? I swear I saw it move. Yeah, there's certain puzzles that you have to do on each uh, little round of the area. And Gumbario actually hints to what it is. And all these flowers say it lead to pass. And the one where it rustles is where you want to go. But uh, as for right now, I want to show off some new enemies. Here's a power plant and make myself a nice little first strike. I basically carried my badge towards my badges towards a uh, hammer and also added the zap chat because we actually have some new fuzzies and these guys attack directly too. 5 HP, 3 attack power. I got my uh, damage dodge thing on, so I get plus 2 defense if I successfully dodge. And then, yeah, heavy heart applied for when I use up FP. Yeah, I can dodge and also deal out some damage. So that's all fine and dandy, and this is the grass that's rustling right here. You wanna sometimes, like, go all the way around so you can, uh, see if the places have center. And here's a guy right here. Hmm, what do you think you're doing? This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You'd better go back. Who are you? This is Oakley, who lives in Forever Forest. He guards the entry to Forever Forest to prevent wanderers from getting lost. He helps him tell folk who get lost inside that beer. For some reason, I feel like yanking it. Okay, he was like, acting like he was going to go yank it. Imagine it being like the Port Express. Caribou! Um, okay, so that's your story. You're invited to Boozer Mansion. You may pass then. Alright, thank you. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you have to pay really close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong path, you'll end up back at the forest edge before you know it. The areas around the correct path will always look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a good look at the inner trees as you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot strange glowing eyes. The exit near that tree is the path you want to take. These clues will be different in other parts of the forest. Watch the inner forest very, very carefully as you go. Okay, so that's good. And some of them, like, you don't really want to go for, like, the very distinctive one. Right, don't look now, but I think it's just saw an eye shining deep inside the hole in the tree. Okay, um, yeah, some of them actually lead you, lead to some secret badges, as we'll find to see. And here are forest fuzzies. Uh, they're not really that much different from normal ones. They just have more extra HP. They do the same attack, that's why I have, a uh, zap tap on. And then they can also, uh, split if you let them. So there's two new types of enemies for us. Let's just, uh, continue going around. That's where the eyes in the middle are, but I'm gonna go all the way around and circle back and see if there's anything. Okay, there doesn't really seem to be too much. There's, there's a one point where you have to, like, be careful of a certain rock. And think about here's the flowers, and if we go to the center, here is Oakley. Listen carefully. If you want to get through the forest, you have to go the right path, and then the wrong path, and don't be stupid and stuff. And the way to go here is to just go with these blue flowers. And there's nothing other than that, so moving along. I think we are starting to get into a more secrety kind of place, though, where there's going to be more things in the center, such as right here. And would you look at that? It's another bubble thing. Yeah, hello there, I'm a flower from Flower Fields, and uh, it just kind of has a Italian accent, much like Mario himself. What's with all these guys having abnormal speech technicalities? Uh, what's one for this? Yeah, the eyes on the tree. Along now. I like how, like, there's just, like, 
wild animals and wolves in this background. There's uh, mushrooms there. And there's gonna be a very kind of obscure secret thing. And this is the one to get us progressing, but there's actually a different kind of mushroom step, slightly different. These mushrooms are in line, and I think that's where we need to go. I was thinking there'd be like ones that light up at different times. And yeah, this is where you want to go, and there's a honeycomb, honeycomb right there. Honeycomb. <laughs> and if you choose, you may challenge it. And here is an enemy that's actually not us supposed to appear until much later on in the game, as you can tell by the insane amount of damage that it does to you. The salad it's got a bazap with the stuff. Three HP, you can get poison, and six attack power. Ugh, so much. And then yeah, they are quite scary. They do that attack where they sing you, and they can also do an attack where they summon other bees like that to come in and attack you. So yeah, this is kind of crazy, even though it's not as if, well, they, they are like, are like the life force. Oh well, I dodged one of it and I wouldn't have uh, gotten into death anyway. And in this little secret area, here's a badge block, and in it, HP+, plus, another one of these. And then you can just take any of the things to get out, and I don't think it's going to reset everything. Actually, it might have... Uh... Okay, let's take the multi-mushroom path, and we're getting... Even closer, and let's see what the puzzle is for the next thing. Okay, they're falling down, and I think uh, the ones that are just normally shaking are the right ones. And he's a double defying, and it's not too good. But oh well, more EXP for me. Okay, here are the normally shaking ones, so let's progress right here. And, uh, let's see. I think this is the room, or the little section where there's the smiling rock, but it seems like it should be right here, but uh, I guess it's not. Maybe this is it. Yeah, it's a little bit lopsided, I remember. So it's also got a little scary face. Reduce your uh, attack sharply. Actually, it's harshly if it's bad for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Pokemon nerd. And plus, there's an FP plus as well. And then there was a sign, if you have business at Pooh's Mansion, come this way. There it is. Looking quite scary indeed. There's a rusty gate in front of it, oh boy. Oh finally, I can stand being in that spooky forest another minute. Mario, I'm positive that's the mansion the creepy old ghost was telling us about. What do you know about the creepy old ghost? You didn't see him. You weren't even out. <laughs> I, I assume that like all the partners are like walking alongside, but only one gets us. All the other ones are just like sitting there like in the invisible audience cheering. There's the fort shroom. Open the fence and be all dramatic. To the thing I got a cutscene with Bootler again right here. Welcome, sirs and madam. <laughs> I'm pleased you made it through Forever Forest. My master awaits you in the room highest up in the lovely mansion. Yeah, you and your I'm pretty sure they use the same sprite for the mustache on his mustache and, well, his hair. Yeah, go to the third floor and you'll hear about the star spirits there. I'll see you there. Any scares this time around? No, just chocolate doors. So yeah. Uh, before I end this off, let's grab myself a strange leaf. Very rare to stores 5 FP, man. It's a very... Odd looking leaf, and then here's another recipient pipe, but that will be unlocked a little bit later on in the game. Let's heal up, and next time on Paper Mario 64, we'll be entering Boo's Mansion and learning about the Star Spirit. Till then, do not touch yourself.